howdy hey, how's everybody doing and welcome back to Disney Daily. The 1955 classic Lady and the Tramp has always been one of my favorite Disney movies, mostly because I am a huge animal lover and this whole movie centered around the lives of two very different dogs. Lady, a sophisticated and loyal purebred cocker spaniel from an upper middle class neighborhood, and Tramp, a rebellious and clever mutt who roams the streets alone. After Tramp's initial encounter with Lady, he is smitten, and the two embark on an adventure together throughout their little midwestern town and eventually fall in love. Now while Lady's background is made very clear in the movie, Tramp's is not. You see, from the beginning of the film, we get to see Lady's life from puppyhood to full-grown dog. She has only ever known the life of a pet and nothing more. More. But I always wondered what about Tramp? Did he ever have a home, a family, or was he always a street dog? Well, I explore all of those questions thoroughly in today's video. I first looked to the film itself to search for any clues about his backstory and honestly there are actually a couple, the biggest ones being presented early on in the film. For instance, when Lady tells Jacques and Trusty about the changes of behavior in her owners, Tramp is there to intervene and give his perspective. And this is actually what convinces me most that he has had a family and home before. On arrival, Tramp politely tells Jacques, who's eager to kick him out, that he is, quote, the voice of experience when it comes to household dynamic shifts when a human baby comes along. He goes on to explain to Lady how babies will scratch, pinch, and pull ears, and that they are basically home wreckers. He proceeds to give her multiple examples on how her life will change. The first example he gives is her scratching. He warns Lady that the simplest things like the urge to itch, while once an acceptable thing to do, will lead to being kicked out because she could potentially get fleas all over the baby. The next example he gives is her barking and how her barking at random dogs who pass by will lead to her owners yelling, quote, stop that racket, you'll wake the baby. I will also add in that Tramp seems to imitate a woman's voice when he says this, which demonstrates further to me that he has had a family once before, and this is what his owner used to sound like. He goes on to tell Lady that she should say goodbye to those nice juicy cuts of beef for dinner because soon it will be leftover baby food, and that warm bed by the fireplace will soon turn into naps in a leaky doghouse in the backyard. After all of this, Jacques and Trusty instantly try and chase Tramp away and assure Lady that this won't happen to her and that her owners aren't that cruel. And just as Tramp is about to leave Lady's yard, he leaves her with one final thought, which is when the baby moves in, the dog moves out. Now, while this seems to fill in the blank about Tramp's past, we have to take into account another very important component to his story, which comes from the sequel film, Lady and the Tramp 2 Scamp's Adventure. I will start by saying that I am not sure if this movie is canon or not, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that it is in fact canon. For those of you who have never heard of this movie before, it is a follow-up on the life of not just Lady and the Tramp, but their puppies, three girls who look exactly like Lady named Danielle, Annette, and Colette, and one boy who is a spitting image of Tramp named Scamp. Now, while all of the dogs are present in the movie, the premise focuses on Scamp, who is rebellious and longs to be a wild, free street dog rather than a house pet. One night, Scamp breaks free from the home and befriends a group of street dogs officially known as the Junkyard Dogs. The Junkyard Dogs are led by an alpha Rottweiler Doberman mix named Buster, who unknowingly reveals to Scamp that the Tramp was once one of the most famous street dogs around. This information completely shocked Scamp because he had always been under the impression that his father was just a simple house dog. Now, after putting all of this information together, I have concluded that both backstories can coexist. I think Tramp was both once a pet as well as a notorious street dog. I personally believe Tramp started off as a puppy, just like Lady, in a warm, caring household. Unfortunately, I think he was only a couple of months old when a human child came along and he was kicked out. As a very young pup on the streets, he had to learn fast how to fend for himself. This explains why Tramp was one of the best street dogs ever. He had to be smooth and crafty from a young age to not only stay out of the pound, but stay alive. Once Tramp got a little bit older, I think that's when he crossed paths with Buster and the two formed an alliance. And after running with Buster for a couple of years, he eventually met Lady and turned his life around to be with her. Well, that concludes this episode of Disney Daily. I hope you learned something new about the Tramp. Please leave your favorite character from the movie Lady and the Tramp down in the comments. As always, thanks for being my guest here at Disney Daily. Until next time.